The market's been absolutely going insane lately. And on top of that, we have the developers doing things that are affecting the market and could have a huge impact on the game. In this video, we're going to go over that stuff that the developers have talked about, as well as some leaks that we've seen about the game that could be the cause of a lot of the movement in the market. It is so important with Pet Simulator specifically that you pay attention to the stuff that's happening outside the game, like developer tweets, big game tweets, as well as any other leaks that happen. Honestly, most of the time, stuff that affects the market comes from these types of things. So if you aren't in the loop about a lot of these leaks and stuff, you're most likely going to be behind in the market. But if you don't care, or if you just really don't have the time to be looking for this stuff, in my Discord, we have all of the leaks and everything that we can find regarding Pet Simulator 99 there and organized, so you guys don't have to do all the looking. We post leaks from all the developers, all the big games accounts, and anything else we end up seeing being posted. It really just saves you a lot of time. And we also do daily giveaways on there and have a helpful staff that can help you with all sorts of problems. Link will be in the description. It's absolutely free. Let's get right into it though. We need to do some market analysis. I hope that you listened to my advice in the last video about the market when I told you it was actually going to be your last chance to buy before the market starts inflating turns out I was right this time. Obviously I had the timeline a little messed up from the previous videos but ever since that video dropped the prices have not stopped rising. We're currently at 18.3 million for these happy computers. I believe we were at 14.7 million or something maybe 15 million when I made that video. So it seems like every wrap update we've seen at least like a 200k increase. So we've been seeing some pretty steady inflation since then. If you were buying those computers like I told you, you would be up a lot of diamonds right now. As you can see, I'm still holding onto a lot of them, but I'm still following that method that I showed you in the flipping tutorial where I will sell them for like four to 500K above wrap and then try to find them either at wrap value or like 100K above and then basically just keep repeating the process because usually people like to sell these common huges close to wrap. They use it as like a value holder for their diamonds. So when they need diamonds, they'll go ahead and sell those. And if they want to sell them quickly, obviously they will underprice them a little bit. So that's where you can make a lot of diamonds. And pretty much my whole day of going through this market is usually just doing this method. So I can passively make like 400 to 500K on each one I find, which isn't bad. And it definitely adds up if you have a lot of diamonds to do it with. The beautiful thing with that strategy is you can really just stack up diamonds and then just keep doing it with more and more huges. One thing I was actually pretty wrong about in that video, well technically I actually wasn't wrong, but I did say it's hard to imagine that the chest mimic would go up any more in price. And at the time of making that video, I'm pretty sure this thing was at like 200 million flat. So the chest mimic has actually risen 96 million since then. But also the chest mimic has increased about like 50% since then because I believe this was like 65 million at the time. So we have seen like a pretty consistent increase with these two. I think that could just be chalked up to natural inflation as well as the huge blur Dominus egg is still a good flipping method right now. As you can see, it's like 72 million diamonds for one. And you can find the jelly Shibas for like 1.25 million. So if you multiply that 1.25 times 50, you're going to get 62.5 million. And then you could sell those eggs for 72.9 million. So you are making a 10 million profit still. I'm not going to lie though. It does take a long time to find enough exclusives, but sometimes you get lucky and somebody's just selling like 50 at a time. That's a free 10 million profit right there. We have seen some traction with the lucky block enchant as well. I don't think this is ne necessarily overpriced. I just think it was underpriced for a while. And I think that was kind of due to the hype of these two things coming out of the exclusive shop. So people kind of forgot about the lucky block enchant. So now I think it's at a like fair price because it is still pretty good for drop. Especially if you are free to play, it does take a while to make back your diamonds with the items you get from these expensive enchants, especially if you don't have super drops. But this lucky block enchant is still just not that bad. One thing that is important to mention is we are seeing like a absolute crash of the items market due to everybody using all these drops enchants as well as the super drops game pass. Things like the charm stone are like 31,000 diamonds. Chisels are 77,000. We're seeing actually record low prices for all of these things. The gift bags are 2.64 million. 
It seems like because these things are so cheap, they are just holding on to these cheap things and using them instead of selling them in the trading plaza because it's just not worth the effort if these things are just going to keep getting cheaper and cheaper. I think when I did my 2500 Charmstone opening, these were like 40k. So they lost about 25% of their value since then. And I don't even think it's been a week. So especially as people get their Breakables Mastery up and start getting even more drops and better drops. We could probably expect the prices of these to keep falling, which is kind of scary. It's kind of weird how the prices of huges are going straight up and then the prices of these cheap items are going down like crazy. This really isn't good for the common player because a lot of people make a lot of their diamonds from selling stuff. So as the prices of these go down and then the prices of huges keep rising, it's just going to make it harder and harder for the players that are behind to afford stuff like the huges. I honestly feel like we are going to get a nerf to either the enchants or just the general drop rates for things because this just seems ridiculous. We're going to be paying 20 million for some huges soon and then stuff like the charm stones are going to be worth like 20k. It just doesn't really add up. I guess we'll see. But let's get on to those leaks because this is really the juicy stuff that I think is actually going to affect the market a lot. So actually the most recent leak that we've seen is this tweet from Preston. I guess it's not really a leak technically, but he did warn us that we should be holding onto our huges and our titanics for the next update. Now I've seen a lot of theories on what people might think Preston is talking about in this tweet. And honestly, none of them have really resonated with me and made me think that that might actually be the truth. One theory I have seen though is that it has something to do with the clan update that we are going to be seeing in the next update. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, as you guys can see, David, the developer from Big Games, tweeted about three days ago that the clan system that they have been developing has now passed 10,000 lines of code. And then does a subtweet saying that it's basically a cool new system that regarding the clan system within Pet Simulator 99. So a lot of people are speculating that Preston's tweet is connected to this somehow and that you are going to need a lot of huges and a lot of titanics to do some sort of event or something in this next update. Now, I'm not saying this is going to happen. If they do end up doing the update next week when this clan event ends and they are talking about this next update having the new clan system, then it seems like the prices of huges and titanics in general are just going to skyrocket as people with tons and tons of diamonds are just going to be buying up all the cheap ones and raising the prices. So I think because of this, they could actually be driving up inflation even more by tweeting all this stuff out. But let me be perfectly clear, we have not seen this in the market at all yet. This was tweeted about five hours ago at the time I'm recording this, and we didn't see any like significant inflation besides the normal inflation we've been seeing the past couple days. But just personally, my thoughts that if we do get an announcement about an update next week, I'd imagine a lot of people are going to be buying up a ton of the cheap huges. So like the happy rocks, the happy computers, and then whatever the cheap titanics are. And then probably just stacking up on whatever they really can and spending all of those diamonds that they've been saving. But let me know what you guys think. I personally only started playing this game in Pet Simulator 99, so I haven't been around for Pet Sim X. So some of you guys might have some better ideas of what they're talking about and whether or not this bigger inflation is going to happen right before the update. My analysis basically from this Preston tweet is that I think that we can expect inflation to continue for a little while. Obviously, it's possible we get another deflation period before the update because sometimes people just randomly begin to panic sell. If you want to know if that is happening, make sure you're joined up on my Discord because I'm sure our Discord will be going crazy when that happens. Honestly, the most exciting times in this game are when the market begins to shift either up or down because that's usually when you can make the most money. Now, that's not the only leak that we have gotten. This next leak is actually quite the opposite of the last one that's going to cause inflation because this one actually might bring down the prices of certain things. And I know this is going to hurt a lot of people, especially if you did buy one of these chest mimics kind of recently at these high prices. But this is a leak that we have gotten from the store that was posted by big games themselves. As you guys can see, it is some sort of gift box that contains the chest mimic book and then what looks like a, another cosmic egg. So there's a lot of speculation that this could be one of those exclusive packs that are contained in the exclusive shop. And if this is the case, then that would mean the chest mimic is being brought back and is going to be able to be obtained once again. 
some evidence that this is the case is that Preston did tweet a while ago that they were thinking about bringing back the chess mimic book and a lot of people did hate on that and he ended up not bringing it back into the exclusive shop from what it looks like there's going to be some sort of gift item that is going to enable you to get these chess mimic books once again so basically bringing in more supply which is most likely going to cause the prices of these books to go down now this leak did come out like a day or two ago and we have not seen the price of the chess mimic be affected much but it has pretty much stalled in price for the past 24 hours it's been like between 290 and 292 million for at least a whole day so i'm not sure if this leak really priced that into the market but i know a lot of people are probably skeptical that this could crash the price of the chess mimic the logic behind this is that if there is a way to buy these again, then people will just spend Robux to get them and then sell them in the plaza, therefore bringing down the prices of them. If this is worth 300 million, then even the highest price thing in the exclusive shop right now is not going to be a high enough Robux cost for this not to be bought. People also think that this is another exclusive pack in the exclusive shop because as you guys know, those packs often include one enchant, one egg, and then some sort of hoverboard and some other items. And that's exactly what we have here. We have the chest mimic, which is the enchant. And then we have the cosmic egg, which is one of the exclusive eggs. And then we have the cat hoverboard. And we also did see with this new world introduction that they did bring back the old active huges into the active huge pool. This just even further supports that they would bring back some of this old stuff. But honestly, I don't really know what to think. Some of this stuff could end up not even making it into the update or into the game at all. So it's all really speculation at this point. And again, we haven't really seen the price of the chess mimic be affected yet. And I'm sure a lot of people know about this leak. I'm sure before the update, we're not going to see big price drops for the chess mimic. It's still the best enchant we have currently in the game. So it does have that intrinsic value that people are going to always be spending a lot of diamonds on. I don't think it's going to like crash to the price of the boss chess mimic or anything. I think if we did get confirmation that it is entering the exclusive market, then I think the lowest the price of the chess mimic would go would be somewhere like 150 million. But that's not really basing it off anything. That's just really where I see its value at because 300 million is just insane. I've been making a lot of diamonds grinding, but honestly, I've been thinking about selling the chess mimic just because it is just so crazy priced. I've been making a lot of raw diamonds and I feel like my boss chess mimics are not that much worse than the regular chess mimic. But once again, this is all just speculation and how I'm feeling. Right now, we're just seeing our constant inflation from the post huge happy computer event. If we do end up seeing the market turn around, I will let you guys know on this channel or even quicker, you can find out in my discord. I'm kind of lost for some of these leaks, so please let me know down below what you guys think is going to happen. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.